Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on an absolute impossible difficulty. It is time for Operation Dragon Hand where we are fighting yet again to get a VIP which is good, Intel which is also not bad but mostly we're fighting for the fun of it because there are a few enemies here that I would want to get in order to finally get some better weaponage. So without further ado let's jump right into the mission and uh, see if this team can do it. It's the B team or as I have been correctly um, correctly made aware of it is the second a team because they are now also quite strong let's go baby time to land let's get that vip are we starting with one or are we no or we need to rescue them cool wait 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 wait, wait couple of things number one we're starting with an elite lancer which is great because that is 15 hit points and a good old stun stick i saw also a pack uh, when fog of war was shortly off standing right at the exit so let's use our lancer we call him sir lancelot and he will or sir lancelot uh, rather and he will actually be the one who is helping us to scout out lancelot moves forward it's by the way of course just his operative name his real name is something along the lines of emilio endors takes the high ground you can already see this is going to get horribly wrong. Uh, Russ needs high ground in order to perform. Can't really get up here. Could get up here and then slowly but surely move to the other high ground. Grand Dieu. I mean, pff, yeah, look. Taking a different angle, right? Inappropriate Murphy. I imagine makes an inappropriate comment. Well, let's move in over here. Good to go. So you can very much frontline. Roby, very much frontline. So let's motor, guys, and get this party started. They are moving into this direction, not the best option for us. Lots of mechs over here. That's Mectacular, aka Spectacular. But we do have uh, blue screen rounds, so it's not going to be a problem. Hive Warrior and Elite Assassin. Those might be bigger problems. And you know, if something ain't uh, broken, you don't need to fix it. And I can tell you what isn't broken. It is the good old kill zone trick. One, two, three, and a couple over here. Okay, cool. I have to wonder. Do we take three kill zone shots or shall we take something else? I, hmm. You know what? Double kill zone might not be uh, the worst. Okay, cool. Zero Kim's ready. Ready to rumble, as they say. 
two hits here or shall we get those two jokesters or well, it's a big fat hit over there I think we're going to take that back big fat hit and the rest will fall in place so time to reveal Well, surprise! There we go. Whoosh. One down. Von Dieu does what Von Dieu is supposed to do. Literally shoot through the wall and just... Bam! Kill these guys. Uh, exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, that's more like it. Drone immediately goes down. sure why the rest was not triggered uh, that's a bit disappointing that is a bit disappointing um look let's start with the obvious uh, things right Make sure that you guys are uh, taking out the Hive Warrior. Okay, good job, Zirkim. Generally, good job, everyone here. Uh, I think. No. We need kills now. And we need a lot of them. So how about... We got Blade Storm. Which means... We're moving over here. That's a kill against a trooper. But we need to still kill the, uh, the Spark. I don't like Sparks. When the enemy has them. That is... Placable. Okay, so this is an option. This guy is an option. Okay, let's start with eight protocol. And that has threat assessment, so Zirkim gets that. It's a bonus shot. a kill moving into a better position and now it's a cleanup really reload they come a little bit closer they should die I don't want to rush in because I'm pretty sure there are additional enemies right in front of us so we're overwatching um, inappropriate Murphy could hand over an action but instead of doing that he gives himself a protocol for overwatches and then decides to calmly place a turret to here Doesn't matter, uh, even if uh, they are triggered, they can't reach us. Yeah, not a problem. I uh, don't, don't really want to move too far. Don't know what's uh, down here. Okay. 
Starting to soften up the mech so far that they are one shot for a sniper overwatch. Okay, very good. Overall a successful turn. Okay, here we go. Some more shots, I like it. Oh, come on. Move, you stupid robots. All of our <clears throat> nice overwood shots are completely wasted. Mm. Well, well, well. Let's start with the Spectre, shall we? Done. We're continuing to hammer <coughs> home the max. Oh, Van Dieu, that was actually a pretty damn good shot. Really appreciate that. Alright, more enemies, more kills. That's how I see it. We do have armor penetration in here. Not sure. I think we do. We'll find out in a second. No, it's not armor penetration, but we got implacable, which isn't bad either. Yeah, I don't want to charge in. That would be not good. Sir Lancelot lances a lot, but not that much. Instead, Lancelot moves back. We are going to hand over an advanced teamwork because uh, the enemies are surprisingly enough still quite far away. So what we can do is, and what we actually should do, is put more firepower on the field. Nope. Uh, still not no bueno. And the proper Murphy overwatches, which is a good thing. Yeah, 
fine. Next turn we could move Vendieu up, but he's actually in a good position. I don't see a huge need in order to do that. Root dies. Mech is almost down. Could have used the second grenade. Yeah, maybe. Lancelot tanks. That's an easy kill. I can't get up there because I've now successfully blocked all the entrances. But Ruskin's still overwatch. Zirkim will move to over here soon. Couldn't do it in one turn, so we're instead overwatching. Yeah, we're not going to go for the prime. Oh, look at you. That was the wrong turn, my friend. Target neutralized. Yeah, flashbangs won't help you against towers, dude. Expect the prime. It does not do a very good job, but the assassin here or the collector drone might kill the power. Yeah, okay. Well, it is what it is. Very good. Still guardian procs. Nice. Sectopod Prime. At least we know where they are. Heading there now. We are marking a Mac. Lots of enemies. Well, target rich environment, as they always say. Nice, good hit. I like what I'm seeing. Good, that's two down. On my way. Inappropriate Murphy slowly moves up. Switching over here as well, because Russ continues to need the high ground. Sir Lancelot, deeply inside of him he wants us to Lancelot, but it's currently difficult, we don't want to just move in and get killed.
Could get him. Difficult shot. Would need to be maximum damage. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad at all. Okay, I'll go. Roby moves up. Gets the kill, and with that, untouchable and placable. Right over here. <clears throat> getting the flank secured. Perch Trooper sucks. Perch Heavy sucks almost even more. Really don't like these guys. So let's start softening him up. Nice, good job. Inappropriate Murphy, that's the reason why he's a colonel. He is not only inappropriate, but he also hits quite well. Inappropriately well, if you ask me. Oh, wow. Untouchable, baby. Unfortunately, not a second time. Unfortunately, not a second time. Alright, they are focusing on <coughs> Roby. Not good. moves up oh we could even hack that okay I see well we're we'll come to that in a second for now all that counts is a Roby needs some healing We need to reload. That's a big hit. That is not a bad hit as well. And I think I could take that. 10 points of damage. It's a decent chance to one-shot him. Good, important. That's another implacable and another untouchable. Moves back into action. Very good. Now, some setups here. 14 hit points. I think that's not good enough to kill him. Let's try to kill the Purge Trooper. That armor's tough. Good hit. Good That's kill. It. Go 
continuing to hit. And I think we're okay here, to be honest. Only thing that <clears throat> starts becoming an issue is moving closer to the zone, but 10 turns are still absolutely okay. Hack. Look, I mean, this guy will shoot twice, right? What we definitely need to do is we definitely need to give it some sword of a target. So, Lancelot is going to lance a bit here. Uh, that didn't work out. Reload. And we're overwatching. I'd say this turn depends whether or not we want to do the hack. I don't want to free him yet. Uh, income is good, research... Yeah, we don't need either of that. I would rather take a free reload and overwatch here. And we're definitely taking an overwatch here. Now that's very unfortunate because I wanted the shred on the sector pod. Nice. We could dodge. That's good. That's another missed shot. Even better. And unfortunately we're taking some damage now. Moves into Bladestorm range and bam! Got hit. Nice. Good job. So Lancelot, he tried his hardest to not fall. Fortunately, he was a victim of being abused by everyone here. Roby moves up, we're taking a very solid shot into Implacable. He is untouchable, I'll move into full cover in a sec. Move up, Rupture, critical hit, massive damage. Wow, Zirkim got hit very hard. That's not good. Uh, what we can do for Zirkim is a protocol to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And a big fat gremlin heal. More healing. Teamwork, move over. Let's continue. Okay, Whew. well, that worked well.
Trying to hit the prime. You got shot. I like it. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal. Mentally and physically. Overwatch. And Endos also overwatches. Moving on target location. Zirkim moves up. Let's hit that guy. Good damage. Okay, and now, <clears throat> since that's the last unit on the field, Ross heals himself, kills this guy. And then we're hacking. Failing the 88% hack, but that's okay. Rust begins to move. Roby picks up um, another core, superior stock. That's actually pretty damn good loot. I guess that'll be okay. Moving out. Good to go. Russ makes uh, haste in getting the VIP and everybody else actually begins to move forward. Enemy transport will not arrive in time, I would say. All we are doing is running away, escorting Ayukulene Godungwana, one of the most talented engineers that uh, the world has seen. Getting a great a gratis hack. Uh, Intel? Sure, why not? One, two, three, four, five, six. Have I missed anyone? No, 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 no. End of turn. A banshee. Well, our tower will still protect us for now. This team does not need any more experience, so really all we want to do at this point is evac all and take good care. That is confirmed. Mission accomplished. 
Very good. Well, Sir Lancelot gave his life. He lanced a lot, but uh, on his last mission, he exposed himself a bit too much. The Sectorport Prime was too much for him to handle. But we got some uh, really good uh, corpses and uh, some really good loot out of it. So that makes up for the unfortunate events. As always, nothing here. And we got another engineer. Not that we don't need any more engineers, but we really don't need any more engineers. So comes onto the adventure and says, great guys, I finally joined XCOM. What can I do? And Shen is like, well, sit over there. Good, we're done with the first full training of a Psy Operator from Legendary. That takes a while. And our second operative is almost done as well. Our research was a success, Commander. Psionic weapons. We got the Psionic Reaper and the Vortex Grenade. Psy Operative's own Psionic energy as such is such nearly limitless ammunition and penetrates heavy armor. And a vortex grenade. If using grenades with psionic energy, this may allow our non gifted soldiers to carry psionic weapons. Well, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice idea, but why would you not just take psi operators? Okay, well, here we go. Upgrade. The set strike module. We did not yet uh, discover what that does, but I, it says it destroys, uh, it creates an orbital strike. So. Not sure what an orbital strike exactly does, but I don't want to waste an, an, um, a Alarium core on it. Let me just check something real quick. Um, <clears throat> hmm, listen, something is not adding up. Are you guys automatically carrying the new weapons or what? All right, there are unlimited amounts of uh, these. So these weapons, oh gosh, you are fat. These weapons are eight to 10, massive bonus critical, huge clip size, that in itself is surprising. Better chance to hit. Have in built in uh, stock. And a big fat scope. Okay. To increase damage against kill on side units, which killer? I don't know what. A, how do you determine whether something is a witch? Penetrates armor. Gains accuracy bonuses at short and medium range. But I, I don't understand. I mean, the weapon itself looks really good, and the ability which killers do increase the damage against kill on side units with their psionic reaper. It's, I would guess it's a damage buff, if I had to take a guess. 
Well, besides all of the stuff that he already has, he now gets a big fat weapon on top of it, which <coughs> seems slightly OP, but okay. The Brute Gauntlet also seems incredibly OP, and he also got a turret. Wow. The Prime Team, like, the arsenal that everybody is running around with is just starting to blow my mind. It's <coughs> beyond the typical... Beyond the typical strength. Uh, sorry. Excuse-moi. So that, what, that was a mission for a short time, but that I was in the middle of the ocean. To be as as I do, Lead line vests uh, protect against uh, radiation in addition to health boost. Laser grenade deals high damage and penetrate even the thickest armor. Research immediately. Well, my problem now is uh, we could upgrade this here, but we're having insufficient power, which means it's very likely that the laboratory now needs to go. Which is really unfortunate because I like the laboratory, but what am I supposed to do? We can't generate more power out of nothing. And we have, to my knowledge, successfully researched everything. So unless I'm missing something, there's really not much more we can do. Well, we could do that, but we don't have enough Pathfinder scanners. Yeah, nothing here would make sense. We're maxed out. That is unfortunate. There's one feature in Phoenix Point that I like more, which uh, is essentially you can just disable certain facility parts. Yeah, sucks a lot. But apparently, since it was built on a shielded power coil, doesn't even allow us to upgrade the Psionic Gate. <laughs> okay. Well, power relay, here we come. <coughs> 12 days, build faster. <clears throat> that is unnecessary, uh, unnecessarily stressful. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership. Commander. Good. High alert wouldn't be that big of a problem. Uh, Fado Crito, I don't want that. However, apparently the game really wants to give us Fado Crito. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on excavation or Well, Shen of course tells us that we have too many engineers. Got another Mesian battle suit. Which is helpful. Let's see who who qualifies for that. I mean, Grell already has this uh, suit, and I feel it's a pretty damn good suit. Okay, cool. Dilly G has the Archon suit, which I would want to continue to give him. He's anyway standing in the back. Um, I think the Metsian battle suit is a bit better than this suit, although I really appreciate the mobility of Sonar. 
I don't know about the rage armor versus battle suit. So rage armor is seven one two, battle suit. 8, 4, minus 3, definitely slower, but way, way more tanky. It has the jetpacks on top. It does have the rocket barrage, the Mesian uh, shield, an extremely powerful plasma bolt. <laughs> It somehow feels like the uh, this armor. I'm trying to use the other stuff, guys, but this armor seems just much better than most of the other stuff. Not very surprising. So, uh, Euler could work with uh, that. Um, we really have Grell, right? So we have Hogbite. Hogbite has his own armor, and I think he's like totally content with that Praetorian na Nanogel Under Armor OP item. Makes everything better and gives him uh, even more uh, more speed amongst all of the other uh, stuff. The only thing that we need is a bit more dodge, but I think with his focus, he would even be fu fully maxed in that regard. Okay, so Hogbite, not a problem. Shooter, uh, his uh, body is actually maxed out, so... There you go, like he has a great armor, he has an absolutely amazing weapon, he has the best turret, he has the brute uh, gauntlet, which seems to have like five functions in one. So, yeah. Which brings us to Grell. <clears throat> I think, uh, as much as it pains me to state, but I think the hive armor, at least the first time that you get it, if you had multiple Hive Armors, it wouldn't be better than the Mesian Suit, but the first time it's actually even better than the Mesian Suit. The ability to continuously summon uh, some stuff, be able to be immune to mental effects on top of fire and or poison, means it's only Frost that you need to worry about in Acid, and even that is arguably not a problem. Then. Uh, on top of it, you do have all of the summonings uh, and a lot of uh, uh, scouting potential. It's really a good armor. There are no two ways about it. And the Disruptor Rifle is also a fantastic weapon uh, for her. So that's good. I don't think that uh, we need to change anything there. Which brings us to Dilly G. Dilly G, Dark Lens, Dark Claw, cool. Uh, enough said. These uh, two are just uh, fantastic weapons. Icarus armor, due to the reposition and the ability to carry two items, is actually uh, still uh, one of my favorite armors. Potentially the one, still one of the strongest. The Icarus jump is just crazy for someone who needs high ground and good position. So Dilly here will very likely go with exactly that armor going forward. Which brings us really to two people that currently could benefit from the Mesian suit. One, Euler, who needs high ground. The Mesian suit allows that. Rage Armor does not allow that. Two, um, and uh, it's just stat-wise, with the exception of movement, in all categories better than what he currently has. Uh, and Sonar, who really yeah would also benefit from it so i think the right way of going about it is just building another mission suit and accepting the fact that it is an absolute op armor and giving that to uh to uh, either of them because <clears throat> frankly rage armor great i even like rage strike but why would you need something like rage strike when in return you could A, look like an absolute badass uh, with a cylinder, and B, you got it all. Like, there is uh, there is no downside. Number one, uh, he now has officially cracked 20 health and 5 armor. Like, what is even going on? Now, this is crazy. Secondly, he gets a free rocket barrage. He gets a shield. Um, which further increases armor and dodge. He has a 
ultra powerful plasma bolt uh, rifle uh, laser which apparently is that thing up here the only thing that is a negative is he's slow so who cares because they do have the ability to reposition the, with a Mesian uh, jetpack and there's even a minigun in here uh, plus he's also good in melee now apparently with the rocket knee strike uh, which if if I just go by the stats of everything that I'm seeing will potentially deal 20 points of damage or whatnot so this is going to be crazy all he needs to do is fly up somewhere stay there and literally ignore the fact uh, that he, he doesn't even need cover with that this is crazy it is ludicrous is is this armor um, allowing to take cover on top of it maybe it is not I tell you what I tell you what because this is so crazy in the next mission I'll test one of these bad boys because I have a suspicion that I'm overseeing a downside and then I'll build too many and we'll go into the last mission and we completed our research in all of a sudden time, I feel Commander. completely stupid I agree that is an important task Commander. good as soon as the power relay is ready we're also ready Epithelius is uh, this time a grenadier steps in for the fallen ones we want shredder from you and demolition god damn it that armor seems incredibly strong Okay, well, that's the Marauder base, and the Marauder base is actually uh, the destruction of the Marauders. So well, that was still up for uh, for debate. We had we have only forty Marauders against us, which will be a fun mission with some more low level characters. So uh, join me the next time when we're royal rumbling them out of the ring, and afterwards I think it's just a cult of Jericho left. Which we hopefully can do next month, uh, as well as finally get the Avatar project and then finish the entire campaign. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate uh, your viewership. If you are a furious cleanser yourself, use some of your Psy abilities to mind melt with the like button and make it a thumbs up. Thank you and have a good one. Bye bye.